YouTube, welcome back to another online battle in Total War Warhammer 2. This one's going to be an Empire versus Leoness? Chevaliers de Leoness? Yeah, I can't say it right. Anyway, the Empire is going to be led by Marcus Wolfhart and his Amber Wizard. The Amber Wizard is now running for his life from Henri de la Massif. And uh, he is going to chase the Ember Wizard very aggressively right towards Marcus. And, uh, yeah, Marcus, remember, has Hunter's Snare, so, whoo, just takes a nasty chunk out of that big bird. Comes right in for the two stanks, but then gets frozen in place by the Hunter's Snare. And he is going to be ripe for the plucking here as Wolfheart just unleashes it on him. You can say Henri de la Massif, or, sorry, Henri le Massif, pushed out, but, uh, here comes Repentz. She is wanting some vengeance for what just happened to her friend. See the Amber Wizard trying to push Henri out, but uh, Rapun's coming in early, and she is going to be shut down by the two steam tanks who push her back. She can do good damage to these steam tanks. You can see that between Henri and her. They did manage to take one of the steam tanks down rather significantly. The Empire Army is just flagellants and spearmen. Uh, along with a warrior priest to help support back. Wow, what a shot by Wolfhard. You see him just take out one of those royal Pegasus knights who are trying to get the uh, the Amber Wizard. That was pretty impressive. So the line of flagellants is going to engage early here, and we're going to have the... <laughs> I love this unit. <laughs> Look at this, Grail Knights. And we're going to have the Companions of Kinel and uh, the royal Pegasus knights all charging through here, looking to get some work done. Now, obviously, the steam tanks are going to be the key to the Empire Army here. And so you're going to see the Empire working very hard to keep them amidst all these spearmen and use the spearmen to keep Bretonia from getting to them. Steam tanks have steam guns and cannons that can be used all throughout the battle. Basically, they have a lot of ammo. They cause terror, and they can be an absolute nightmare for cheap infantry to try and deal with, such as Bretonian infantry. Plus, they provide some very long-range work against cavalry. So they have multiple purposes, purposes now. The Damsel of Life healed up Henry, and he came back for a second run at the Steam Tank. He's got most of his hit points back, and Marcus Wolfhart hasn't forgotten him. In fact, he's got a bead on him back here, and you're going to see that as he comes in to re-hunt the same prey, and the Royal Pegasus Knights brought in too. All of them now snagged by the Hunter Snare, and these spearmen right here with the tanks causing damage, and Bretonia is going to find their units taking a tremendous beating. You see Henri being healed, but just not going to have the hit points to finish it. Marcus has caused some unworldly damage here, and Repens is not happy about it. He's going to come after him, but he is going to be able to try and fall through some of this infantry and get away from her while she gets snagged on other units. So you can see Marcus just trying desperately to stay away from Repens, and he should. She is geared to damage a unit like him. And you can see here the Companions of Kinel and the Grail Knights doing a lot of charging and shutting down the Flagellants fairly nicely and all the cheap Bretonian infantry fixing the Spearmen, which means the Steam Tanks are going to find themselves a little more exposed, but just constantly blown away at how well they're able to hold up in this battle against all this. Now, the Amber Wizard did die, I believe, earlier... Um, to the yeah, the Pegasus Knights got him, and they're going back for him again. But you can see the steam tanks still firing away at all these units, and their cannonballs cause a lot of damage. Companions of Kinel would be a good unit to get in here on a steam tank. They would absolutely melt the steam tank if they could get focused on it for a second. They deal tremendous armor-piercing damage and anti-large. The tank would cause some damage back to them, but if any unit on this battlefield is suited to killing a steam tank. It would be the Companions of Kinel. They're a lot like a Demigriff Knight, except better. Better than the Demigriff Knight. So, like I said, if enough of them get focused on the Steam Tank, it will start to take a tremendous amount of damage. Hunter Snare again over here, holding all these units on the flank, preventing them from moving in. So, Wolfheart continues to impose a lot of will in this battle, though Rapunz has had enough of it. She is in here hoping to... Put him out of commission with her massive sword. He does have a warrior priest to help support himself, but he's not a great matchup to go against her either. But if time will play out, you can see that she is taking a lot of damage. Though Marcus does get routed. 
does get routed. And the damsel, Lore of Life, who's been sitting back, kind of holding together the Bretonian army, will try and make her way over there eventually to see if she can help finish Marcus, because getting him off the battlefield would be absolutely the clutch. And she doesn't want to be anywhere near the steam tank, to be quite honest. The steam tank's now taking a lot of damage, and Bretonia is starting to get the, um, the power bar swinging towards their favor. They have a lot of infantry left, though the steam tanks could quickly route a lot of this infantry, depending on the situation. And the steam tanks are doing some serious work. With all the spearmen hanging around, the companion of Kennel not able to just continually focus on a steam tank, and I keep expecting to see all this cavalry and other units eventually take one of these things out, but they just continue to hold out rather amazingly. See Wolfheart regroups over here to a few peasant mob. Wolfheart trying to fight the peasants gets charged by the damsel who chucks her own peasants all over the place. And you can see Wolfheart attempting to defend himself. And he could do so quite well if he's able to get his bow out. This damsel would probably regret her life rather quickly. He did get a shot there but didn't end up doing too much, so Wolfheart is going to be run out by a damsel of life for being all the talk of hunting monsters. He got hunted down by a damsel on a horse. Now that said, Bretonia has some power still in their favor, but these steam tanks are going to wreak utter havoc on this Bretonian men-at-arms and peasant infantry. While they would be able to cause a lot of fight to the Empire infantry, they just cannot hold up, even for a few seconds. And if the tanks avoid repens like the plague, it will be difficult for them to be killed. But, of course, repens is not going to ignore them. <laughs> I don't know what good a sword does against such a machine, but uh, it does pretty well, you can see, down to 597, and it was over 1,000, so repens knocked like 500 off of it. She's using her Sword of Lioness ability here, which is... Gonna cause a lot of damage. Look at this steam tank, 87. I was like, it's dead here, right? No. 50 hit points, and it manages to scurry out of that and continue to fire. So the steam tanks here just absolutely holding together any hope that the Empire has because they can't be routed, and they just continue to hammer away with their steam guns and cannons and cause damage while the spearmen just kind of stand there to be hit point fodder so that... Ooh, the damsel there just takes cannonballs to the head. She's going to be forced out of the battle. You can see Rapan's going in again for a hit on this uh, steam tank that had a few more hit points. She is desperate to kill the steam tanks. But there are so many infantry left. You can see the damsel here is going to try and help get rid of a few of them. Though she can't get overcommitted because she will die rather quickly in this fight. She's needed in this battle for the balance of power. You can see some uh, men-at-arms, spearmen coming back to try and help support her a little bit in this fight. She needs it. See the steam tanks, like I said, just desperately running away. 691 hit points on one. It's still the 50 on the other. I was kind of surprised to not see Rapanz charge this one right there. She had an opportunity. It was focused on the tank with more hit points. And now the two tanks have locked onto the damsel and want her off the battlefield and... There's not going to be a lot that she can do about it. You can see Rapan's back there knocking down a ton of infantry with her special kind of explosion ability. The damsel is summarily pushed out of the battle, and she will not be coming back. These steam tanks have a great firing line here, and we'll be able to take her right off the horse. So she is done. And that leaves Rapan's and her few infantry who remain very few who remain at this point. She's going to be under constant fire from the steam tanks, the same way that the damsel was. There is no healing, and the Empire has infantry to try and spare in her direction almost non-stop. So it is going to be a desperate ploy on her part. You can see her trying to dodge cannonballs, everything that she's capable of doing here. There are a few Royal Pegasus Knights, literally three left. Now, of course, there's a tank with only 31 hit points now. It's going to get charged. The infantry managed to block the charge. The stank does not take a single hit point of damage. 31 and lived through a charge from the Pegasus Knights. It's incredible what these tanks have lived through and you can see that they're just using the infantry to keep 
or pans away from them, and it becomes a game of cat and mouse here that time favors the tank because of its guns. They will consistently do damage. If she engages this infantry, then she'll be shot by the tanks. If she goes for the tanks, they should be able to kite through the infantry and continue to fire. Though she will get occasional opportunities such as this to get a charge, but she doesn't actually land any damage and gets stuck in the infantry. This is the risk that she runs in this fight. Now she has to pull away from the infantry. Of course she will take some damage in the process. I don't know how many of those kind of explosion abilities she can use. I'm assuming at this point that it was numbered. I don't remember specifically how many, but it was probably numbered or else she could use it here to clean up a significant portion of these infantry that remain. She does have the capability to take out the steam tanks if she could get to them. Definitely a unit that can do it, and fortunately for her, those steam guns aren't causing a tremendous amount of damage, and her leadership is holding up, but... I mean, you can see here what kind of fight this is. Let you watch as she just tries and tries to get to the tanks. Still nothing. 31 hit points on one of the tanks. Thirty-one hit points. A game of cat and mouse continues. You can see the tank with more hit points here potentially going to be charged. And the Sword of Lioness is engaged, but still not a single hit. Look at this. Sword of Lioness. A charge on the 31 hit point to Ann. It doesn't hit. <laughs> the 31 hit point tank avoided the hit. Only 11 melee defense, and it avoided the hit somehow. That is incredible. Incredibly crappy for Bertonia and incredibly amazing for the Empire that none of these hits are landing on the steam tank. She's charging, but she's not landing a hit as the steam tank pulls away from her. And they're able to just continue firing at her. Her hit points are running so low. This has been an epic battle. An epic battle between the state troops of the Empire and the peasants of Bretonia. Chevaliers de Leonis putting up a great fight. I just don't see how Rapanz gets to these tanks at this point because the infantry. Oh, look at that. Friendly fire into the infantry. Works out for her. Then there comes two steam gun hits. Oh, and a brutal cannon shot too. And that's going to KO Rapanz. That is it. Epic battle there between Grey Knight Dante and Shifos. That was a lot of fun. Appreciate both of these players. I cannot believe those steam tanks were still alive. Like, I really can't believe it. That is nuts. I thought the one of them was dead for sure. Like, multiple times thought it was dead, and it managed to get away from it. So, some pretty crazy escapes there from uh, <laughs> from Grey Knight being able to get away from those charges. And then I, I thought for sure, too, when the three Royal Pegasus Knights charges, like, all right, this 31 hit points. One of them just has to land a hit, and it's over. And the infantry managed to block it. <laughs> this team tank ran out. So what a battle here. This was absolutely crazy. Really enjoyed watching this. Getting to see some action from one of the new characters. And then the last DLC here with Wolfheart, I believe. Wasn't he? Yeah, I believe he was the last DLC. So Wolfheart able to get some really incredible damage done early in this battle. Poor Henri Le Massif just getting pooped on by Wolfheart and his monster hunting capabilities so a whole lot of fun to watch this one hey if you all want to make sure you go join the discord got a link in the description it's a fun place to find games share replays find multiplayer campaigns whatever you want to do with warhammer 2 or just come and hang out if you need people to chat with you got voice channels there if you're going to be doing any uh, multiplayer games it's a fantastic place to be hope to see you there air of carthage signing out for now